Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about Fibonacci numbers. And uh, this is about a puzzle uh, that was written down in the year 1200, about. And it was written by a guy named Fibonacci. And this is the puzzle. If you have a pair of rabbits, like, here's a pair of rabbits right here. And, if this pair of rabbits ha has one pair of rabbits every month, in other words, a baby, they have a pair of babies. Every time they have babies, they come in a pair. And they have a pair of babies once every month. And then, the other thing is, each of the babies they have, after two months, each of those uh, pairs will have a pair of babies. Now, this is just a math problem. This is not actually uh, the way that rabbits multiply. It's just simplified for the math. It's just a, it's like a word puzzle. So, and then his question was, his problem was, after one year's time, how many rabbits or pairs of rabbits will you have? Now, these rabbits are too big, so we're not going to use those. Each of these little markers is going to represent one pair of rabbits. And what we're going to do, and this board represents one year because it's got 12. This will be like January. This whole line we'll call January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, now we start off in January, let's say, and you got one pair of rabbits. And let's say this pair of rabbits, let's just say, just got born. So they can't have babies yet. So by the time you get to February, you still just have one pair of rabbits. So the first column is ha is all the pairs of rabbits we have in January. We just have one. And then the second column is all the pairs of rabbits we have in February. It's still just one pair of rabbits. Now, by the time you get to March, you're actually going to have two pairs of rabbits. You got the original pairs of rabbit, and you've also got a baby pair of rabbits that they had. So, you can see now that this was two pairs of rabbits. Okay, now if we go to uh, January, February, March, April, we're still going to have the original pair of rabbits. Now, the original pair of rabbits is going to have a new set of babies in April. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move their first set of babies just down one to make room for the new babies. Remember, the new baby, or you always take the older child, so they get moved down to make room for the new ones. Okay? Now, of course, the older set of babies, they're still there. It's just that they got a new one. So, this means that in April, there's actually three pairs of rabbits. This is the original rabbits. They've been there now for four months. This was the first set of babies. They've actually been there for two months. Okay? And uh, this is the new baby for April. Okay? So in April, the answer is there are three rabbits. Now, what Fibonacci said was, how many would there be in 12? Well, let's just go for a few more, just to see how this is. We're just working this out, basically, just like pretend. It's like we're just doing a little play. So, Here's another rabbit, April, March. No, no, hold on. January, February, March, April, May. So in May is the original. Then the original dudes are going to have another baby. So everybody else, we're just going to move down one. Here's the original baby. I'm sorry, the new baby. This is the, ba the babies from the month before. And then this was the very oldest, the first set of babies. The thing about the first set of babies now 
because it's the third month, they're actually having babies too. So they're going to have a baby right there. So that's how I do it. And this is just a, a little diagram. It just makes it easier to count them all. So the number that there were in uh, May was five. Well, let's try going one more time. We're going to have this dude, the new, uh, the original guys. In this puzzle, by the way, none of the rabbits ever dies. Okay, it's just a puzzle. Okay, really, probably some of them would die. Okay, now we got to make room for the new baby. So I just move everything down by one to make room. I put the new baby in there. It's actually a pair. Of, I call it a baby, but it's actually a pair of rabbits. Uh, I don't have room on this board to make uh, an entire pair. I have two markers, so I just make each pair one marker. Okay, that's the new one. That's the one that is just now two months. Then this cup, this, 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 this pair actually is going to have, this is their third month. Three in a row means it's time for them to have a baby. So I'm going to move these guys down to make room for the baby pair of, of that pair. Now these ones here also are, are going to have another baby. So I'm going to move down their first baby to make room for this baby. And then this one. Uh, is just there. When there's two in a row, they don't, they're not making babies yet. Now, each of these rows, of course, will show a pair of rabbits. It'll, it'll show the month in which they were born, and then each of them always will continue over. As soon as one of these lines gets greater than two, it'll start to have babies. So, January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, in June, two, four, six, the number was eight. There were eight rabbits. Now you can see that this is actually starting to get a lot. And if we went for one more month, it's quite possible that we couldn't even fit them all on this board. But we can do it. It gets uh, a, a little hard. Let's try it just to see. I'll put on one here. Everything else has got to move down to make way for the next pair, baby pair, from the original pair. This, this pair here isn't breeding yet. They don't have a pair. This one now, this pair, on their third month, they're going to have a baby, so everybody else has to move down one also for them. If you didn't move them down, it, it gets just too crowded on here. So um, there ha no, no, I'm sorry, these guys, that's their third month, so they're having a baby, a baby pair. Now this one here, this is going to be their fourth, but they're going to have one, uh, I mean this next month, this, this pair has to have a baby, so we have to make room for that one. Okay, this pair of rabbits is just in their second month. They're not having a baby. They just stay there. They're just still there. Okay, now this this next one. Th this this th is going to have. A, this is actually the oldest of the non-original pairs. That was, was this was the actual first, the oldest child. Now that th they had another one, and th this one here just continues. That th their second child doesn't have any babies yet. And then their third ones, that's their third month. They first have a baby. That's the first child. That's the first child's baby. That's the first child's baby baby. This would be like the great-grandparent. This would be like the grandparent. This would be like the kid. And that would be the baby. That's like Karen. Except Colleen wasn't the oldest one. If Siobhan had the baby, that would have been Siobhan. That would have no, this would have been like my mom, Nana. That would have been, you get the idea. Great-grandmother is what we have going here. Great-grandmother rabbit. Okay, now the number of rabbits we have here is actually, it's 
it's 13 rabbits because there are 12 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, we're not going to make it to the whole year because this line already got way too big. I can't put them all on anymore. So, the way that Fibonacci did this puzzle now was that he was able to show that there was a pattern. So, what are we going to see? What's the pattern? And maybe you've seen the pattern yet, but this is what Fibonacci said. He said, this, how are we going to find out how many pairs we're going to have in this month? Well, the idea is you find out how many pairs you had in the previous month. All of those pairs are still going to be there. Then you check to see how many pairs were there two months before. Any pair that was there two months before is going to be old enough in this month to have a baby. So, for example, this because there was a pair in this month, they will have a baby in this month. That's the oldest set. This uh, pair is present in this month, but in this month they'll, they'll be present, but they won't add another because they can't have a baby yet. This pair in this month will have a baby because this they were there two months before. So the idea is this. To find out the number for this month, you take the number for this month and you add the number for the month before that. That's because those that's the number of new babies that you're going to have in this month. And this is just the number of not new babies, just people that are already there. So the way that he wrote that down was was this. Fibonacci number for the month n equals the Fibonacci number for the month n minus 1 plus the Fibonacci number for the month n minus 2. Okay? That is the formula for the Fibonacci number sequence. It's the recursive uh, formula. And this is produces a sequence that if we draw it out like this, it would start with 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 5. 8, 13. Now, you can see that in the next month, the next one is going to be 21 because we're going to add the 8 and the 13. We're going to get 21. That's how much there will be here. Well, I should say that. Oh, this is probably what I want. Uh, I'm just writing down now the sequence that we did. This was uh, 21 is actually going to be in the next column. I didn't, I didn't have enough room for that. So I'm doing it now. I'm doing it on paper. 21. 21 plus 13 is 34. 34 plus 21 is 55. 55 plus 34 is 89. 89 plus 55, that would be a 4. Carry a 1, 9, that's 144. 144 plus 89 would be, let's see, a 3. Carry a 1, put another 3, carry another 1, that's 233. And 233 and 144 is 7, 7, 3. Okay, now I just made that list of uh, the rabbits, the number of pairs of rabbits. And this would be an more than enough for one year. Uh, this would be enough for, uh, I actually got 14 numbers here. That's enough for a year and two more months. But Fibonacci said he didn't want to count on his pu puzzle. Uh, when he said, when he put those, after the first month, he wanted the number to be two. In other words, uh, he didn't, he didn't want to count these as part of the year. He only wanted to count 12 months starting with this one. After the first month, he said, we're going to have two pairs of rabbits. So he 
जय राम